Welcome back to TGIF, your new favorite show uh, in all the land. I'm here with Al Reynolds and Funky Dineva. Now, before we went to break, I mentioned that Stacey Dash is now in the running. Well, she's trying to get that black car back, y'all. They always come back home. Hey, OJ. Okay, so uh, she wants to get her black car back. A recent interview with uh, the Daily Mail, she mentioned that she regrets supporting Donald Trump and is backing off her conservative views. Let's take a look. Of Trump, you know, has put me in some kind of box, and well, I, he's not the president, <laughs> so I'm going to give the president that we have right now a chance. <laughs> As you. Okay, uh, as you may remember, I, I don't know if y'all seen this, but the uh, former Fresh Prince of Bel Air actress Janet Huber called out uh, Stacey Dash five years ago, saying that Stacey just wanted sensationalism and was working for Fox because she needed a check. Let's take a look at this, and then we're about to go in. And she's making a check, and she's bringing controversy to herself. Stacey is a bit of a media hoe. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, who wants to go first? I got this. Let me tell you something. Stacy. <laughs> Stacy people. Stacy people. We are not here for Stacy. Work ain't honest and they're obviously it's not paying is obviously not paying the bills. The only thing going on with Stacy right now is her bills backed up, her credit bad, and she done ran through every old white man in Hollywood that don't nobody woke her ass. So now, like they all do, they want to run back to the community because black people, we are so forgiven. But the one thing that Stacey forgot is that black people are forgiven to everybody except other black people. We don't want you, okay? You sold us up the river for the white folks. You sat your raggedy, dusty, washed up 80s actress ass on them people couch every day. You told all our business. You used every negative stereotype against us. You spoke down on the BET and the NAACP, both organizations by which your dusty ass benefited from. Like Janet Huber said in the extended version of that clip, your ass don't appear on BET more than any other black actress in the damn business. You the type of Negro that you just want to get ahead. Then once you get through the door, you want to close it for everybody else so they can't get in. But here's what you're going to have to do before I consider even reaching down in my file cabinet to hand your ass an application. You're going to have to volunteer to be the usher at first service, second service, third service, and pastor revival. As soon as you put <laughs> ushering, you have to carry your ass down to the hospitality committee, and you have to school baby <laughs> and potato salad. Your ass will have to be at the Essence Festival, picking up bags for Frankie Beverly and Mays. Then your ass will have to be in all the uh, 50 Cent Next <laughs> music videos, Kanye West music videos. After that, baby, I need you to do the electric slide. I need you to learn the cha-cha slide. I need you to learn the tootsie roll. I need you to learn to come on ride this train. After you finish doing that, baby, I need you to learn how to do an old nasty French roll, baby. Yes, God, I'm talking about weave, bundles, inches. I need you to know how to do that. I need you to know how to do braids. I need you to learn I Want to Be Down by Brandy, the first version <laughs> and the remix with Queen La People. And after you do all of that, I'm going to hand you an application, but I'm here to let you know, bitch, we still going to deny it. Don't we don't want you, bitch. I don't think don't want you. I don't think there's nothing else to be said about that, except for you know she's famous for being in that show Clueless. You want to know why? Because she is clueless. Bitch, she, you better figure out a way to divide them $1,400 that they're giving away for stimulus across the rest of your damn life because we ain't got nothing for you. And I know that we live in the protect black women, protect black women, honor the black woman, right. but we don't want you. Right. Matter of fact, I'm willing to make a trade. We'll take racial dollars, y'all. We're going to give her your spot on the line. We're going to give racial, racial people Rachel people, have Rachel email me. We got a slot open for her in the black delegation. Oh, and we're Rachel Stacey like Dash. You, you are off the chain tonight. Yeah. Now, Claudia, remember though, remember the reason why he is so disdained. Remember, she she wanted Black History Month in the United States to be done with. Yeah. So I completely 100 percent agree with Funky Dineva on this. One. I don't know what's wrong with this woman. Like she her She's entire wrong. beginning, her whole like 
she owes her entire career to the black community. Yeah, right. And, and, and I don't know why she has so, so much disdain for us. She was one of our semi-precious jewels. Like she right. was up there with uh, Naomi Campbell, Iman. She was an 80s, 90s symbol that we held her high. She was the pretty girl that was in that movie with Richard Pryor and Mo Money. She was one of us and we loved her and you traded us up the river, Stacey, and got nothing for it. Them white folks used you and abused you. And when they was done with you, they set your ass out on the curb just like garbage. And now you're broke, your bills backed up, and you want to come back and beg. Like I said earlier, your ass better find a way to divide them $1,400 that <laughs> across the rest of your damn life. In the, words, in the words of Smokey Mama from Friday, make it enough. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she's in the same category as the Candace Owens and the Amorosa yes. of the world. And you can stay over there with them. We good over here. So moving yeah. on. Well, one, more, one more thing. Here's what uh -oh. she what? said that she was angry. That at that time she was angry. But angry at who is what I'm trying to understand. Because we didn't do nothing to you. We made you. So who were you angry with? See, that's we why I that's why I think she could be she should be totally dismissed because what she ran to was what the narrative is around black women. And she tried to find solace in that. No, baby, you you weren't an angry black woman because we don't even claim you as a black woman with how you have treated our community. It is not going to be allowed. Goodbye. And, I find it, and before we go on and move on, I find it really funny that when you know, Trump was in office and they, they were very comfortable knowing that they were going to be backed up for four years, they probably thought eight that they could just go as hard as they could. And there was a whole crop of Negroes popping up. And I'm sorry if you get mad about me using that word. I really don't give a damn. That thought, let me just hop on over here and, and curdle, cuddle up to Massa and, and, and speak negatively on the Black community. And guess what? That's a very profitable thing to do these days. If right. you're a Black person that wants to separate yourselves from the other liberal voices and you want to check, speak against negative, speak negatively against Black people and you will get scooped up by a Fox News in a second. And the list goes on and on and on and on. A, a conservative outlet will pick you up, OAN and, and all those other news outlets that are all the way right. They like nothing more than a black person willing to speak on camera negatively about us and be the Tim Scott of their network. And guess what? When it's over and they don't need your ass anymore, you will be fired and you will be a N-word like the rest of our liberal asses. So Stacey, we put you so, but you know what Stacey Dash? We are gonna invite you publicly because you are on this apology tour. I would love, if you think you could stand the pressure to come on TGIF, I would welcome you to come on this show and plead your case. And maybe we let the viewers decide if we invite you to the cookout. So that's oh, my official you. invitation to Stacey Dash. I'm with it. I'm with in addition it. to that, what we will do is we'll, we will provide her a safe haven where we will not give our opinion. She yeah, is. Yes, we will. We will allow her to express okay. herself. I'm going to call out that day. <laughs> <laughs>